So brand new PLC. If you notice, we go into the settings, advanced settings, okay, Ethernet config, and we see there's a MAC address, but no, P no IP address. In order to do that, we're gonna initially con uh, communicate with Serial, D DF1, you connect and that. upload the program and then configure it to have an IP address within the PLC. Okay. So, close that. Can you do this again? Yes. And we have to open up RS500. Under communications who's active go online, select your PLC, hit OK, and you're going to create a new file, mm -hmm. we're going to go to IO configuration, first make sure you are offline. To save the file. Yep, save the file. Okay. IO configuration. Read IO config. That pops up with your input outputs. Close out of that. Go to channel configuration. Channel 1. Unselect boot p enable and then enter in your ip address of 192.168.1 it just got it cleared out actually 192.168.1 and then the last one is something other than your computer's ip Let's just select 7 for your subnet mask 255.255.255.0 Apply. Okay. And over there it should. Oh, download. Nope. Got to download. download it. Proceed. It's going to ask you to apply channel configurations. When it asks you to apply, Hit OK or apply. Go online. And there's your IP address. There you go. Everything needs to be power cycled. So was it Denver that showed you guys this? Yeah.